Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about bites. Bites in computer, not necessarily bite-sized sandwiches, although that would be worth talking about as well. No, today we're going to talk about computer bytes. A byte has 8 bits in it. Now this was not always the case, sometimes there was 10 or 12. Back in the way olden days, but now it's been standardized generally to have 8 bits in a byte. So before we can answer what a byte is, we need to talk about what is a bit. A bit stands for binary digit. So, that's great. Well, what is a binary digit? A binary digit can either be a one or a zero. Inside of a computer, there's lots of little transistors. And they're basically little switches. They can be on or they can be off. And mathematicians, computer scientists had to figure out a way, how can we represent all the numbers we wanna use only using switches that are either turned on or turned off. And that's where binary digits come into play. So first let's look at decimal. Decimal is what pretty much the whole world uses at this point. I won't say everyone uses it because there's probably some country out there that uses some alternate system. So I will say most people use decimal system. And in the decimal system it is base 10 which means we don't have a symbol to represent the number 10. And you can look at that, you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What symbol represents 10? Well, there isn't one in decimal. We use two symbols instead. And we have what's called the tens place. Then we have the hundreds place, thousands, etc. But there is no one symbol like this little circle, this oval is a, is a zero, this line is a one, this squiggly curved thing is a two, when there's more curves, it's a three. Then we go to straight lines again, it's a four. This one, we combine straight lines and a curve, we call it five. Anyway, there is no curvy straight line circle thing to describe the number 10 in the decimal system. So let's talk about the octal system real quick. It's, this system's not really used that often anymore um, for setting permissions and things on Linux. Technically, there's the octal system in place, but what that means is it's octal is base eight. And just to show the trend here, you can go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but there is no symbol to represent eight. So how do we represent eight? One, zero. So you have your eights place, you have your 64ths place, and um, it's just gonna keep going from there because off the top of my head, I can't remember what eight to the third power is, but then you would have that place. Um, but the main thing to remember is whatever base you're in, that symbol doesn't exist. So in binary, we have base two, which is why we only have zero and we have one. So how do you get the number three? Well, uh, or sorry, how do you get the number two? Well, it's just like we had before. To express the base itself, we do one zero. So now for the number three, we're going to count up in this place, like the number 11. We did that in base eight, the number nine. We do that for base two, this is the number three. Now, if we want the number four, we have this because one zero zero, there, there is, it, it carries over. There, there is no other place here to fit in another one. So we go over another place. Now, the neat thing about this is we're going to, we're done with base eight for now. No one uses it really, so we're gonna pretend it doesn't exist. But if we have 10 to the zero with power, just bear with me here, you have one. 10 to the first power is 10. 10 to the second power is 100. Are you seeing a pattern? I hope so. Trying to illustrate a pattern here. 10 to the third power is 1,000. 10 oops, to the fourth power, 10,000. So you can see 
each one of these places has a name. So we have the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands, the ten thousands, so on and so forth. And what that is, is it's counting up from zero and it's taking 10, the base, to that power. If we look at binary digits, they actually work in much of the same way. You have two to the zeroth power, which is always one. So you have the ones place, two to the first power, it's two, so you have the twos place. Two to the third, uh, second power is four, so you have the fours place. Two to the third power is eight, so you have the eights place. So if you look at this number, off of what we know, eight, it's kind of almost like check boxes. Eight is checked, so we have eight plus four is 12, plus two, is going to be 14 plus 1 is 15. So this is the number 15 in binary. And all we're doing are the powers of twos. And since we're geeking out on all this fancy little math stuff, let's look at another thing. Let's pretend you have the number 100 and you want to divide it by 10. You get the number 10. How do you, what's another way you can cheat at doing that with a decimal place? Well, you can take the decimal place and you can move it over one to the left. And what that does is it will reduce you by, a, um, it, it divides you by 10 basically. If you move it one to the right, it's the same as multiplying by 10. Binary is much of the same way. If we take this decimal point and we move it over, so we're, let's use a, a number other than 15. Let's use the number 14 because we're going to just chop off uh, things here as we move our decimal place over. So right now we have the number 14, again, 8, check, 4, check, 8 plus 4 is 12, 2, check, 0, that, that, that doesn't add anything. So 8 plus 4 plus 2, 14. If we move this decimal place over by 1, we should have the number 7. So let's take a look at it. Uh, we have 4's place, check. 2's place, yep, 4 plus 2, 6. 1's place, yep, 4, 2, 1, that adds to 7. Again, if we move this over, we're back to 14. If we move this over again, we're at 28. That is something that can be a very helpful to remember. So try to keep that in mind. Now hopefully this isn't too terribly overwhelming that we are able to count with just ones and zeros and we have base 10 symbols. We've talked about powers. And if I'm going too fast, please watch this video again. YouTube loves it if you keep watching the same videos like that cat video you've seen 20 times, not judging. So, all right, we have 10, we have two. Now let's talk about hexadecimal while we're here because yes, it does correspond to bytes. And as you remember, what is a byte is our subject for today. So hexadecimal means base 16. And you might be thinking, why on earth would anyone use that? So let's start again. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, we need a symbol for 10 now, don't we? Because 1, 0 has to represent 16. Just like 1, 0 here represents 10. 1, 0 here represents 2. So years ago, people determined that they were going to use this as their symbol for 10. And I'll let you guess what 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then we finally come to 16. Now you might be thinking, why is this important? Well. Bytes actually, like we said, they compose eight bits. Oops, helps if I can type straight. However, there's another thing in a byte that's called a nibble. Cute little guy, it's only four bits. So if you have this and you have this, you have a byte, but you also have two nibbles. This nibble is eight plus two, 
which brings us to 10. And so we, we'll put it down in uh, decimal numbers here. So I'm gonna put a B after this so that we remember, and I'll, I'll use D even though you don't normally need to do that like an assembly, but just so that we know which, which base we're talking about. And this one is going to be four plus one, so it's five. Oops, there we go. So we have two nibbles. Now, what is the largest nibble we can have? One, 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 one. And as we talked about before, this equals the number 15. This symbol also is the number 15, as you remember, because we had, I'm, I'll spell them out because that gets really confusing seeing numbers next to each other saying that they equal the same thing. Test out my spelling here. There we go. So F is 15, 1111 is 15. That means that this symbol can be represented by one hexadecimal symbol and these four bits can also be re represented by one hexadecimal symbol. So we said this is 10, which means A, and this is five, which is still five. So instead of, and you can either represent that as that or this for hexadecimal. This also means hexadecimal. So we look at this now we can represent large binary numbers because computers only work in binary, or we can shorthand it and use hexadecimal. Pretty nifty stuff we have here. All right, so what is a byte? A byte is eight bits. It is also two hexadecimal characters. And it can Oh, well, it, it represents all the numbers that you have inside of a computer. So I believe we've answered what a, what a byte is. While we're at it, we can say there's two nibbles in it too. So there's two nibbles in a byte. There's two hexadecimal characters. Each character is a nibble. There's eight bits in a byte, and it's used to represent all of the characters inside of a computer. We also have covered how to count in binary and how to do math in binary or I should say at least multiplying and dividing by two. So there we go. We have covered what a byte is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope it went at a pace that's interesting to follow and not boring, but at the same time not so fast that you never wanna watch one of my videos again. That would make me sad. So please like and subscribe if you would, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.